Okay, so let's move on to our next task. Sa 2.3 na tayo. Tapos na tayo sa 2.2, okay? Addressing the need for individual commitment to team performance and achievement of strategic objectives using the motivational theories. Okay, so 2.3 okay, now you're going so to... let's move on to our next... Okay, you're going to critically evaluate the application of that plan. Delegation mentoring, coaching to the achievement of strategic objectives. So, tatlo yung pag-uusapan nyo rito. Okay, you're going to discuss three things. Okay? You're going to critically evaluate. Ano ibig sabihin ng critically evaluate? It's the same. Um, by giving the advantages, disadvantages, the uh, pros and cons mm. or strengths and weaknesses. Mm, okay. So, you're going to examine the strengths and weaknesses, your arguments, if you have any arguments, that's perfect, okay? If you don't agree, that's perfect. You can just say what is the reason why, okay? That means you have critical thinking and you have original uh, input of your thoughts, that's better, okay? So you're going to critically evaluate, you're going to um, give the strengths and weaknesses of these three, okay? Your delegation, coaching, and mentoring, okay? So, you can judge the evidence from different perspectives, make a valid conclusion or a reasoned judgment. That's your original thinking, okay? So, as well as you're going to apply current research theories to support the evaluation when applicable, okay? So, you, if, you, if you think that um, that theory doesn't really you know, support what you are arguing, then you can find another theory to support your theory, okay? Ganun siya. Your argument, I mean. Okay? So, let's go to delegation. Ano ba ang delegation? Delegation is giving others the authority to act on your behalf. Okay? Accompanied with responsibility and accountability for the results. So, kapag binigay mo na, dinelegate mo na, you already have delegated the task, they are already now responsible of the results. Okay? Pag sinabi naman ng coaching, you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction between the coach at saka yung coach, including group sessions involving the employees, leaders, and managers. And of course, yung focus ninyo is to improve your performance and as well as you're going to remove those roadblocks to success if ever there are any problems there. So you're going to work together. Okay? And while mentoring, mentoring is a relationship between two individuals. Okay? Uh, basically, more on ano to, uh, more specific siya, mas, mas deep. Like giving some advice or uh, Yes, you're gonna give advice. Okay, you're gonna train someone, yun ang mentoring, yes. okay? You're gonna give, kasi less experience yung mentee, okay? Yes. So you have to give uh, training, yes. advice, okay? It's for their professional development, okay? So ganon siya. So you're gonna give the similarities and differences. So now, when you evaluate, you have to make a related literature against a case scenario at work. Okay, so yun ang best way to do this. Okay, to assess, to, to reach the assessment criteria. So mag evaluate tayo. Let us evaluate. So this is like a practical. Um, kung ano yung what's going on in your in your um workplace. Okay, for example, we have uh this one. So you have to answer. Okay, you have to answer. All right, halimbawa. My staff are better than I at some task I delegate. So now, what is your answer? Do you agree? Neutral lang? O kaya naman, I disagree. So what is your answer? My staff are better than I at some task I delegate. So you delegate some tasks because they are better than you. Do you agree, neutral, or disagree? Delegation is giving. Ano na ulit ang delegation? You're gonna give. Yeah, so it's now, they are now accountable for that one. Once you give the, the task to them, they are now accountable to the results. So the question is, my staff are better than I at some task. I delegate. Do you agree, neutral, or disagree? So there's no wrong or right answer here, but it is according to what is <laughs> what is your, no, that's why we're trying to evaluate, no? Okay, so what, what would be your possible answer here? Yeah, with neutral. neutral. The reason is because. <laughs> the reason bakit? is because. Uh, bakit neutral? It's not everything you know, everything they get now. Yeah, okay, yeah. And you have to delegate that because yes, they are better yeah. than that. Okay, for example, for me, uh, I cannot do graphics designing. 
I can yeah. uh, so I have to delegate this task to the graphic designer. Yes. Okay, so it's now I'd like be... assigning the task uh -huh. on the person who's uh, better uh -huh. on this um, task. Okay, yeah. so then you should agree. <laughs> No, because sometimes you know the the things, but uh, you're just uh, you, you just want to. But they are just yeah. that they are just better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Moving on, tayo. Okay, team leaders should be able to do all tasks better than their team members. So, is it true or false? Parang quiz, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, team leaders should be able to do all tasks better than the team members. True or false? Trolls? <laughs> hmm. Team leaders should be able to do all tasks better than they Not all tasks, no. It's like a... <laughs> so the answer is false, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, you need to be able to do your job. And your job is to delegate effectively. That is part of your job. Okay? So, it's okay to delegate. <laughs> if they are better than you at the job, that's fine. So, don't... Pero wala neutral dito sa second. So, some managers... Yeah, some managers fail to delegate because they fear that their team members will show up, you know, they become better than them. So don't fall into this trap. Delegating is part of your job. So it's okay because hindi naman tayo perfect. <laughs> but it's a wake up call perhaps for you to uh, improve yourself in that field. Kung yun ang gusto mo, di ba? So hindi naman po pwedeng lahat ikaw, di ba? So it's not like that. So don't don't fall into that trap that oh he will become better than me. Don't fall into that trap. It's okay. <laughs> if they're better than you, it's okay. But, but there are some things you can do that they cannot do, okay? So that's also okay with them. <laughs> Next, I have to intervene. I have to intervene frequently to get the work done properly. I need to research first. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba ang definition ng intervene? Okay. Oh. So you have three options. Okay. So magka these two questions are related. So I have uh, put them together. I have to intervene frequently to get the work done properly. For example, you have given the job. You've delegated the job. Then you have to intervene because... Because of what? Okay, first you have to ask the question, I have to intervene. Agree, neutral, or disagree? You agree. Okay, fine. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so um, which of the following do you think is most likely the reason why do you agree that you have to intervene frequently to get the work done properly? Because you have got the feeling that, oh, I have to actually intervene because feeling ko, they will not be able to do it. Or they have let me down before or i have evaluated the team and they can the last do one, that. I have evaluated that <laughs> okay so then delegation provides an ideal method for evaluating ah. team members okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so if you if your staff lack the key skills that means your method of evaluating might be something you know there might be a problem okay, with so that like, uh, think positive not uh, thinking about uh, they have let me down before. Mm -hmm. But before we have mentioned about um evaluation, performance yes. evaluation. So now thinking of it, if you have to intervene frequently, maybe you are giving the wrong evaluation. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So if you are constantly intervening to get the things done, there's something wrong. Bakanman you're giving it to the wrong person. The task might be delegated to the wrong person who doesn't have the skills. So, yon. so it's like uh, something to think about, you know, in terms of delegation. But delegation is uh, provides a method of assessment as well. Because you can, you know already, ah, hindi pala nila kayang gawin kahit binigay ko na yung task. Okay, so they have let you down before. So it is a case-to-case -case basis as well. Okay, question. Is delegation time-consuming? Yes or no? Is it quicker to do the most delegatable tasks to yourself, true or false? 
Unahin muna natin yung isa. Is delegation time consuming? No, because you are just uh, giving like an instruction right Okay, when you give instruction, how long will it take you to give instruction? Uh -oh. Then if you do it yourself. Let's compare it like if you do it yourself. Mm -hmm. If you do it yourself or comparing it to delegating, what is more time consuming? If uh, delegating, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> true. You do it yourself. Oh, tapos na. Yeah, tapos na. Pero delegate mo, ka di ba? So it's really time consuming. <laughs> Is it quicker to do most delegatable task yourself? Mas oh. mabilis ba? Mm -hmm. Nagawin mo na lang yung yung pwedeng i-delegate na work. Yes. Okay, so if your answer is yes, then time and effort will put in early stages of delegation pays for itself later. So it's really true that it's time consuming. Pero the time you're gonna consume in doing that task, you can do it for another task. So it will pay for later. Okay, so again, going back to your performance evaluation, kung hindi na susunod to at nag-worry ka to delegate, that means maybe your performance evaluation has something to do with that. So it change your evaluation ways on how you can give evaluation to your staff or giving feedback to your staff. Okay? So actually, it is quicker to do the task yourself. Actually, yun ang naisip natin. Pero, it's false. Yeah. Kasi, it will pay later. It will pay later. Yung time consuming na binigay mo to. Malalearn na ng, ano, they will learn. They will learn that task. So you have to better give it to somebody who can really do it. So delegation now is general in this portion. Hindi naman delegating it to the wrong person. This is now generally the uh, person it's like knows. It's better to work uh, as a group. Yeah. Uh, so parang yeah, yeah. 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 Easy. Right? Kasi mahirapan ka rin. It will pay you back in the end actually. Uh, in my oh, experience. Pag ginawa mo na lahat mo. <laughs> Pagod ka na. Mainis ka na kasi. Ikaw na so what else what's the team doing right so it will still pay off in the end so it's still important to delegate okay so now if you have any arguments about delegating you can put it in your side yeah. <laughs> okay question will only be your team members get the credit if excellent work is done no yes or no what is your answer? No. 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 Okay. If your team does a good work, you'll get the credit too. So everyone will benefit. So don't yes. worry. <laughs> don't get, don't fall into the trap na, ah, siya lang mabibigyan ng recognition because he did the job. I delegated. I was supposed to do that because I know how to do that as well. So you will also get the, the, the benefits. Okay. Of course, delegation will give increased freedom of action to your team. And this comes great commitment. So there goes the commitment. Kasi, they can now commit to the team objectives. The reason is because they have been given the task na delegate sa kanila. So now they are going to be committed to the strategic objectives because you have given them the freedom of action to do it. So if you don't delegate, they will not be able to contribute as well. <laughs> Yun yung bottom line, right? Do you agree or no? Yes. Or you can also say, I don't agree with this. There are many other ways to give them commitment. So you can do your original um, argument here. You can make your, uh, if you can say that um, in, in, in this kind of organization, I think delegation would not be, would not work as well as uh, it will not be very effective, although it, it has some degrees of uh, freedom of action. But the thing is, it in, in this kinds of people that are present in the organization, I think um, giving hygienic factors is more effective as per experience or as we have been applying for many years ganon kasi we don't know what's happening in your organization you can just relate it to what is arguable kung merong arguable kung may nakikita kayo if you have seen something that is not like um you know applicable or something like it doesn't really work in your organization it doesn't mean that it really works to everybody you know so hindi yes. naman siya kasi one size fits all to eh diba? it's like what i made on the um as one room right I put my uh, personal inputs. Yeah, that yeah. is that is, that will give you a better grade because you have original thinking. Remember, dun sa rubric niyo, there is an original thinking area there. Pag yes. may original thinking, then you will get that grade. <laughs> okay. 
Okay? So again, as a reminder, if the staff lacks the skill, maybe the method of evaluation is questionable. And especially if you continuously intervene with your delegation. And the responsibility is on them now. Whatever the results, yeah, whatever the results, they'll be responsible. And they will learn from their own in the next. Okay. But I certainly agree that there are some people that even no matter how you motivate and delegate them, that kind of work because simply perhaps they're not there to do the job the reason is because they're just forced to do the job or somebody told them to do the job or their mother told them to do to take this job it's not really their forte or maybe uh, they really want to work somewhere else but this is just the only opportunity they have so maraming factors okay to give critical evaluation paano ka critically evaluate kasi nakalagay sa ano task is critically evaluate so how are you going to give a critical evaluation give a situation that applies the concept Okay, and then you're going to discuss the pros and cons. And then, of course, advantages and disadvantages. It's it's okay to disagree, no problem. <laughs> you agree if you agree, okay. If you disagree, okay. Then you have to give the reason why the concept is applicable to the situation or not. Okay, kasi nga, hindi naman siya one size fits all. And it's always a case-to-case -case basis, okay? It's always... Because this delegation, it's like a chain of command. Yeah, yeah. So you can relate to that. You already know that, okay? But you, as, as well as you can also say that you know we have just learned that giving delegation is giving them the freedom to learn as well as yeah. uh, contribute to and on. <laughs> on. So you can make some uh, arguments. So that means you are giving a critical evaluation, okay? And when do you think it is applicable and effective? When? Because it's not in always situation, right? So when do you think it won't work? Because it's not always. It's always there's a time that you, you you don't want to delegate. And can you give examples of tasks that cannot be delegated? It's like for personal. All right. What else? Something like more on decision making, right? Yes. delegate on, or something like you're going to decide who will be your next uh, key partner or key stakeholder. Of course, you cannot delegate that yes. kind of work. So uh, that is when you you think it will not work. So you can. Uh, it's only applicable for certain tasks like blah, blah, blah. so ayan that's how you're going to critically evaluate okay so keep focusing on the scenario stated in the strategic objectives exploring your review and um evaluate critically check news on the impact of the delegation the impact of mentoring, the impact of coaching, ano din yung negative at saka positive contributes niyan. Um, you might either discuss also yung performance objective affected by delegation, mentoring, and coaching. So, yeah. Pag ganito, dami kong magpapap sa utak, right? <laughs> Marami nang nagpapap sa utak. Marami nang ideas na. <laughs> okay. So, let's pause for here for a while. And um, it's player time, yeah? So we'll just. Ay, hindi ko na stop. Na 